Hello everyone, it's PC Helper here and today I'll be showing you how to fix hyping issues, online lag and server errors for the game CSGO in few simple steps. First of all, I would like to thank you all as my channel recently completed 12k subscribers and it means a lot to me. And if you haven't subscribed yet then please hit that subscribe button for regular gaming content and some pretty cool giveaways in future too. Also I'll be linking some of the coolest gaming accessories you can have in the description including gaming laptops, mouse and some other accessories. So if you're interested in buying any of it, then just have a look at it too. And now without any further ado, let's get started. So the first most basic thing that works for almost everyone is that you should try running your game with the help of WT Fast. The main purpose of this software is to fix online lag and hyping issues, but it is the most helpful software to fix server issues too. But using it is a bit complicated, so I've already made a guide on how to run any game using this software. I'll provide the link of that video in the description of this one so you can easily watch it. So just run your game using WT Fast and your problem will most probably be fixed but if you are still facing this issue then proceed to the next step. This step is a really important step and I consider this step to be a mandatory one before performing any further steps. So in this step we will be clean booting our PC and what clean booting does is it refreshes all the components of your PC and helps in resolving any software conflicts in your PC too. And clean booting is different from restarting your PC. So if you don't know how to clean boot your PC then I've already made a guide on how to do so. I'll provide you the link of that video in the description of this one and it is a really quick guide of 4 minutes. So just watch that video, clean boot your PC and then proceed to the further steps. This step is a really useful step and it has helped many users in fixing this problem. So first of all what you have to do is, you just have to go to your command prompt. So just search for CMD on your start menu and go to command prompt. In command prompt, search for ping type ping 1.1.1.1 and once you have done that press enter. So it will take some time, it will just analyze the ping at 1.1.1.1 and as you can see average ping is 11 ms. Now what you have to do is you have to type ping 8.8.8.8 .8 and press enter. And it will again calculate the average ping. So let's wait for it and request timeout and here it is. The average ping here is 17 ms. So as you can see, there is a clear difference between this DNS server and this DNS server. 11 ms is way better than 17 ms. So what you have to do is you just have to see which one is better for you and just remember that DNS. And now go to your network connections. So search for view network connections. So just go to view network connections here as you can see. And here you have to go to your current network to which you are connected right now. So I'm connected to my Wi-Fi. Just double click on your Wi-Fi if you're connected to your Wi-Fi or you can just select your Ethernet if you're connected to your Ethernet and go to your properties. In properties, you have to select Internet Protocol version 4 and click on OK. Oh, click on properties, not click on OK, click on properties. And in properties, by default, it is on obtain DNS server address automatically. You have to select use the following DNS server address and in preferred DNS server, you have to enter the DNS which was better for you. So in my case 1.1.1.1 was better for me. So I'll press 1.1.1.1 and if 1.1.1 was better for you too, so you have to do the same 1.0.0.1. So that's it for this step. But just in case 8.8.8 .8 was better for you, then you just have to change it to 8.8.8.8 .8 and alternate DNS server to 8.8.4.4 and click on OK. Once you have done that, that's it for this step. It will be really helpful and it has fixed this problem for many users. Now let's proceed to the next step. This step is again a very important one. In this step, we'll be forwarding ports. So first of all, you have to search on Google CSGO ports and go to this first website portforward.com and once you will click on this link, you will be redirected to this page where you have to scroll down and you will have an option called Counter-Strike Global Offense Team and you will have TCP and UDP ports. So first of all, let's just copy TCP ports and if you don't want to visit this website, I will provide both the TCP and UDP ports in the description of this video and you can just copy it from there. So once you have copied the TCP ports from the description, you have to search for firewall in your search menu and go to Windows Defender Firewall with Advanced Security. So once you will click on it, it will take a few seconds to load. And once you are on this screen, you have to go to inbound rules. On the left hand side, as you can see, inbound rules is written. You have to go to inbound rules. And now on the right hand side, you have to click on new rule. So now we will be creating a new rule. Inside rule, we'll be selecting port as we are forwarding ports. Now click on next and we have to select TCP port because we have just copied the TCP ports from the description and I'm going to paste it here in, in front of specific local ports. Once you have pasted them here, click on next, allow the connection 
Again click on next. Domain private public select everything. Click on next and give it the name CSGO. That's it and click on finish. Once you have done this, you have to copy the UDP ports from the description of this video now. And after copying them, you have to again create a new rule here. And here we have to again select port. But this time instead of TCP port, we have to select UDP port because we have just copied that UDP ports and we have to paste the UDP ports here. Now click on next, allow the connection, click on next, domain private public select everything, click on next and again give it the name CSGO and that's it. That's it for this step and it will make a significant difference and it will surely make your ping low if you are getting high ping and so. And now let's proceed to the next step. In this step we will be flushing our DNS. So this step also seemed to fix this problem for many users. So, and to perform this step you just have to go to your CMD again that is command prompt. And once you'll open it, you just have to type IP config space, then give a slash backslash and flush DNS. I'm just confused. Is, is it a backslash or forward slash? I'm just confused. So whichever it is, IP config space slash and then flush DNS. And once you've typed it, press enter. And it will see, you will see on your screen Windows IP configuration successfully flush the DNS resolver cache. And that's it for this step. It is that simple. Try running your game and most probably you will see a difference if you are facing high ping then it will also help in that case and if you are facing any server error it might fix that problem too. So that's it for this video. I hope you found this video helpful. If you like this video then please leave a like on this video. If you have any doubt write in the comment section and also don't forget to subscribe to PC Helper for regular gaming content. Thank you and have a nice day.